Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to show you how to solve the word ladder problem. Given two words, begin word and end word, and the dictionary's word list. Find the length of the shortest transformation sequence from begin word to end word, such that only one letter can be changed at a time. Each transformed word must exist in the word list. Note that begin word is not a transformed word. And there are notes here. Return zero if there is no such transformation sequence. All words have the same length. This is to simplify the problem. All words contain only lowercase alphabetic characters. You may assume no duplicates in the word list. You may assume begin word and end word are non-empty and are not the same. So if they give you two examples here. In the first one, the begin word is hit and the end word is cog and the word list is here. So the output is five. Why? Because in order to transform the begin word to the end word, you have to go through five transformations. These are the transformations, and this is the shortest transformation. You start with heat, and then you change the I to O, so you get hot, and hot is in the word list. And then you change the H to D, and you get dot and dot is in the word list. Then you change the T to a G and you get dog. And dog is in the, in the word list. And then you change the D to a C and you get cog. Cog is in the word list and this is the N word, so you're done. And how many transformations? So the shortest transformation is one, two, three, four, five. So the method returns five. In the second example, you can see that the begin word is hit and the end word is cog, but the word list does not contain the end word. So the method returns zero because the end word is not in the word list. So in this case, we need a way to keep track of um, the words that we have in the word list. And if we want to do that efficiently, we should use a data structure that allows us to look up elements in constant time. and we can use a set for that. So we're going to use a set. Set of string word set. Because the value of new hash set. And then word list in the constructor. So we're converting the word list to a set. And then we're going to check if not word set that contains the end word we return zero because if the n word is not in the word list then we know that it is not possible to get to the n word so the we return zero to indicate that so now here we're going to use breath first search because we want to find the shortest transformation sequence and if we use breath first search that's going to allow us to transform the word and we can imagine a tree we start with the first word the begin word will be the root of the tree and every time we go to a new level that means that we tried a new transformation so we move out and every time we try a new transformation and we keep track of the level and that's going to tell us the number of transformations to the shortest transformation sequence so we're going to use breath first search as you know you, we have breadth first search, which uses a queue, and we have depth first search, which uses a stack. So in this case, breadth first search is going to find the shortest path, and it uses a queue. So we're going to use a queue. So queue of string. Queue gets a value of new linked list. First, I'm going to say queue.offer begin word. So I'm going to add the begin word to the queue and I'm also going to have a variable int result gets a value of zero and I have the result gets a value of zero because this is going to keep track of of the level it's going to keep track of how many transformations I have done so far on the word so every time I, I process a level I'm going to increment the result variable so I'm going to start the process of breadth search by saying that while not queue that is empty 
then I'm gonna continue with the process of of the breath first search. So the main idea is that by the end I'm gonna return zero by the end of everything because if I don't find the end word I return zero to indicate that I wasn't able to find it. But here I'm doing the BFS or breath first search. So what I wanna do first is that I want to process all the words in this level of the tree. So I'm gonna say for int k, k is the value of q that size, k is greater than zero minus minus k. So this is gonna allow me to get every word in this level. So I'm gonna process word by word for every level. So I'm gonna say string word gets the value of q.pol. I'm going to dequeue this word from the queue and then I'm gonna check. If the word that equals the n word, then that means that I was able to get to the final destination. I was able to get to the to the final word, the n word, so I can return how many transformations it took me. So I'm gonna return result plus one. I say plus one because if it took me one transformation, then I have to add one to, to this variable here. So this is gonna allow me to get the number of, of transformation or the, or the length of the shortest sequence to get to that transformation. So if I find the end word, I'm done. So now I want to actually go through the word because I wanna try every possible possibility of replacing a character by another or substituting a character with another character. So I'm gonna say for integer i gets a value of zero, i is less than word dot length plus plus i. First, as you know, in Java, strings are immutable, but I wanna be able to modify the string. I wanna be able to substitute every character in every position by every possible character. So in order to do that, I want to I want to convert the, str the word to, a, to an array of characters. So I'm going to say an array of characters, new word, gets the value of word, that to char array. So now I can modify this in place. And because now I can do that, I can try every possible character from A to Z because you know that all the characters are lowercase alphabetic characters. So I'm going to say for char ch gets a value of lowercase a, ch is less than or equal to lowercase z plus plus ch. Then I'm going to iterate through A to Z and for this position i, I'm gonna replace with this character. New word survive gets a value of ch. And now I'm gonna convert back to a string. So string s gets a value of new string. And in, in the constructor, I'm gonna pass the new word. Why am I converting back to a string? Because I wanna be able to compare to check if it is equal. So I'm gonna say if word set that contains s, because as you know, um, every new word that I form has to be in the word list. So that's why I have to make sure that it is there. If, if it is there, this new word is there in the word list, then this is valid, right? This is a valid transformation. So I'm gonna say that and also it has to be different and not as that equals the word. And the word is the word I came from. You see this word here? I have to make sure that it is different because I don't wanna process the same word again. So if those two checks are valid, it is in the word list and it is also different from the original word, then I can actually process it, add it to the queue. So queue that offer S. And I also wanna remove it from the word set or the word list. So word set that remove S. 
why am I removing this? Because that way I can actually track if it has been used before. If I remove it from the work set, then this will not be valid again. So I will avoid duplicates. So this is like marking it as visited. And this is this level. I'm handling one level here. But as you know, I want to, every time I process a level, I want to increment the result variable. Because that way I can keep track of, of the level. And the level is going to tell me um, this, the length of the transformation sequence. First it's going to be one character, so that's going to be in the first level I change one character, it's going to be one. Um, the second level uh, change two characters, it's going to be two. And so on. So this is going to keep track of that. And breath first search is going to find the shortest length to the transformation. So now I'm going to run the code. I'm going to see if it's working. It seems to be working fine. I'm going to submit a solution. All right, this is working perfectly. Um, so please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And before I finish the video, I want to tell you that the time complexity is big O of L times N, where L is the average length of the word and N is the number of words. So please, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.